Everybody's heard that expression, today's the first day of the rest of your life. Well, today is the first day of the rest of my life. I have something to tell you about, and as soon as I come back, I'll get started on it. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So, I, uh, most of you that know me, that are living here in Montana, know me, know that uh, I've always talked about, you know, what's next? What's, what can I do next? Uh, my trip to Ecuador. Uh, I've always joked with people and said that, you know, this has been my exploratory trip. I've been here for two years and three months now. And I'm, I'm at the point now where I think it's time for me to consider uh, the next step in this adventure that I'm going through. And what I want to do now is start exploring other destinations, okay, to see about spending my retirement years on a more permanent basis. So, as you know, my channel has never been about Ecuador. It's always been about my experiences, how I've done it, what I've done, who I know, who I use for medical, who I use for my visa, how I've done it. You know, I don't give advice. The only advice I give is to seek out professional advice from the professionals. So, considering all the things that are happening here, the political unrest, the horrible uh, events that have taken place uh, with the assassinations, and a lot of other factors that are kind of personal that I don't really want to go into, I think it's time for me to move on. And so what I want to do is I want to... I started looking around at other, you know, locations. I thought about, well, how about different places here in Ecuador? Now, there's really not any place else in Ecuador for me to go, mainly because of the fact that I have COPD so bad I cannot live at altitude. So I can't live in Quito or Cuenca or even Cotacachi. So, and I don't want to go to Loja, and that's just for personal reasons. I just don't want to be in that area. Not that I have anything against it, but it's just my personal choice that I don't want to go there. And I definitely don't want to be in, in Wyakil. So that pretty much leaves Ecuador out. So I look at Panama, I look at Colombia, I have looked at Peru, I have looked at Argentina, I've looked at Paraguay. And somebody, one of my subscribers, Ken, Ken D, I won't say his last name out of respect for his anonymity, but... He suggested that I take a look at Uruguay. So I've been looking at Uruguay. I've been studying it. I've been looking at some, watching some videos. And kind of like I did before I came here, I started watching videos. I think my biggest mistake with watching videos was that I watched, I, I, I stuck myself to one couple and I stuck with them. And that didn't work out. I shouldn't have done that. That was my own fault for doing that. I only listened to this one couple, and I came here with every expectation that I developed from watching that one couple. And I was gravely disappointed when I got here. Even more so when I met that couple and really saw the, their true colors. And when I met them in person, I really saw their true colors. So anyway, I'm the, from this video forward with the exception of a couple of videos that I'm going to do with Stella. The content is going to be about my exploratory into other opportunities as far as locations to live. And, and now I'm focused on Uruguay. I, my good friend Jeff Mincy, which by the way I'd like to say hi to his mom, Shirley. I'd, uh, again, I want to thank you for bringing this guy into this world and into my life. And uh, so I want to say hi to you. But anyway, Jeff has done uh, some great research for me. And I have results of it here on a spreadsheet. And what, what he did was he, 
He used ChatGPT, which I use a lot of. So we got it. First off, I want to say right off the bat that the information is is valid up to September 2021. Okay. So a lot of things have happened since then. But I'm going to post this spreadsheet on my Google Sheets. I'll share it out and let you have access to it. And what it is, it's a comparison between Uruguay and Ecuador. And I've got, I don't have it numbered here, but I mean, I got two sheets. One, well, one and a quarter sheets. Of each line is a different category, like most progressive, the safest country, most international flights per capita, best infrastructure, that kind of stuff, okay? Comparison between Uruguay and Ecuador. Jeff used 24 Latin American countries as the uh, criteria for this categories. And when you see a, a number on here, the number is from one to 10, one being the most favorable, the most, the best answer to 10 being the least favorable answer, okay? And if you see, didn't make the list like you see here, uh, that just means that it it just wasn't in, it just wasn't brought up in the answer from Chat GPT, but it's a good starting point to try to get an idea of, of the differences between these two countries. I do plan to do an exploratory trip to to Uruguay. Uh, Stella is going to the states in October. I was going to go to the states in October, but I don't think I'm going to do it now. When she comes back. We've tentatively planned on a 10-day trip to Uruguay together to go check it out and see what, what we think about it. So I'll post this. I'll share it in the description down below. From now on, I'm going to pretty much talk about my research and what I'm finding out. Finding videos on Uruguay is not that easy. And I'll tell you what, they need Don Shader because... I did 300 videos on Ecuador since I've been here, and I think I've helped a lot of people with information. The information is so important, and when you try to find out something about a particular country and you can't find any information, it's very discouraging. So I want to try to do something about that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do, and don't everybody, you know, start, you know, don't don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying I don't. I'm not saying Ecuador is bad, but Ecuador is not working out for me. Okay, it's, that's all. And, and I think some of you have kind of picked up on that over the last 20 or 30 videos. It's, it's not working out real good for me. So I wanna see what else is out there and I'm gonna share that information that I find in my life with you, my audience, okay? So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, Please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. Okay? Ciao, ciao. See you in the next one. Creeping on a combo, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, Kurt? I'm sick of you, Scotty. Sitting up here looking soft in the corner next to the cleaning products. you lucky I can't skateboard back. Hey, what, what y'all doing out here, man? I'm out here trying to reflect, man. Hey, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Y'all trying to take me to the pound. Y'all trying to take me to the goddamn pound. I know that face. Mm -mm. Not me. Not today. Y'all be good. Praise God, man. How's everybody doing this morning? I see y'all out here. Some of y'all got expired tags. Some of y'all seatbelts ain't on. Let me tell you something. I don't give out citations. I eat y'all alive because y'all don't deserve these vehicles. What's up? This is happening. Hey, fellas, look at what we got over here. Turkeys? Yeah, we ain't jive turkeys. Either. Hey, I noticed you're recording us without our permission. Yeah, why are you recording us on the little camera thing? What does a person do? Oh, we'll tell you what you do right here. Turn the camera off. Yeah, I think she's going to make a break for us, fellas. Look at her feet. Oh, you think we won't chase you down out here? You think we won't chase you? No, no. We're just getting stored. We're just getting stored. Hey, grab mm -hmm. your phone. Everybody's tough when they eat turkey sandwiches, but when the sandwiches start chasing you.